Welcome to Whiteboard Programming, where we simplify programming with easy to understand whiteboard videos and today I'll be sharing with you a brief introduction to cryptography in blockchain. So let's get started. First the basics, blockchain is a peer to peer network and the word blockchain is made up of two separate terms, block and chain. A block being referred to as a collection of data and the chain being referred to as public database of these blocks which is further stored as a list. Now these lists are linked using cryptography, which in turn makes it the most essential and fundamental requirement for creating a blockchain. Now as we all know, blockchain is growing list of records and the blocks get appended to the list over a period of time, making cryptography more important than ever. For this, let's understand what is cryptography first and then take it forward. By concept, cryptography is a method of developing techniques and protocols to prevent a third party from accessing and gaining knowledge of the data from private messages during a communication process. It is derived from two ancient Greek terms, cryptos having the meaning of hidden and graphene having the meaning to write. Further, in order to fully understand cryptography, you first need to understand several terms related to cryptography, which are stated as follows. First, encryption. It is a process of converting plain text or normal text to cipher text or random sequence of bits. Next, decryption. It is the inverse process of encryption that is conversion of cipher text to plain text. Cipher. It is a mathematical function that is a cryptographic algorithm which is used to convert plain text to cipher text. And last but not the least, key. It is a small amount of information that is required to induce the output of a cryptographic algorithm. Further, let's discuss what are the types of cryptography. There are mainly three different ways in which we can perform cryptographic algorithms. Number one, symmetric key cryptography. In this encryption method, we take a single key into application. This common key is used for both the encryption as well as the decryption process. But as you might have already guessed, Using a common single key creates a problem of securely transferring the data between the sender and the receiver. And that's why it is also called as secret key cryptography. Number 2. Asymmetric key cryptography. This encryption method uses a pair of keys, an encryption key and a decryption key, also called as public key and private key respectively. The key pair generated by this algorithm consists of a private key and a unique public key that is generated using the same algorithm. And that's why it is also called as public key cryptography. Number 3. Hash functions. Now, this type of encryption does not make use of keys. You must be thinking now, what does it do then? Well, it uses a cipher to generate a hash value of fixed length from the plain text. It is nearly impossible for the contents of plain text to be recovered from the ciphertext without the key. Next, let's discuss what is the use of cryptography in blockchain. Blockchains mainly make use of two types of cryptographic algorithms, asymmetric key algorithms and hash functions. Hash functions are used to provide functionality of a single view of blockchain to every participant. And generally, blockchains use SHA-256 hashing algorithm as their hash function. You must be thinking by now. Why do we even use cryptographic hash functions? Well, cryptographic hash functions provide the following benefits to the blockchain. Number 1. Avalanche effect, which simply means that a slight change in the data can result in significant different output. Number 2. Uniqueness, that is, every input has a unique output. Number 3. Deterministic, which means that any input will always have the same output if passed to the same hash function. Number 4. Quickness, which means the output can be generated in a very small amount of time. Number 5 and most regarded feature is that the reverse engineering is not possible. That is, we cannot generate the input by having the output and hash function. Further, hash functions have a major role in linking the blocks to one another and also to maintain the integrity of the data stored inside each block. Any alteration in the block data can lead to inconsistency and break the blockchain making it invalid. This requirement is achieved by a property of hash functions called as avalanche effect. As discussed earlier, according to avalanche effect, if we make even a slight change in the input to the hash function, we will end up getting a totally unrelated output as compared to the original output. 
Confusing? Let us take an example of SHA-256 hash function and compare their outputs, where in the first case we take input as blockchain is future and respectively we get the following output. And for comparison, in the second case, we take an input with a slight difference, which is blockchain is future, but instead of E in the end, there's an R. Where now we get the output as the following. Now, as you can simply notice that there's a huge difference after changing a single character at the input. The results will be similar if you turn any alphabet from lowercase to uppercase or vice versa. It's this feature that makes the data reliable and secure on the blockchain. Any changes in block data will lead to this difference in hash value and make the blockchain invalid, making it immutable. Next, asymmetric key cryptography is where the private key generally needs to be produced by a random number algorithm and the public key is calculated by executing an irreversible algorithm. And that's why asymmetric encryption algorithm has an advantage of having separate public and private keys, which can be transferred over unsecured channels easily. Likely, it also has several disadvantages, some of which include low processing speed and unsatisfactory encryption strength. Also, it is very much necessary to ensure the security of the asymmetric encryption algorithm during the transmission of data on the blockchain. One of the major parts of asymmetric key cryptography is digital signatures. And for those who don't know, digital signatures provide integrity to the process as they are easily verifiable and cannot be corrupted. They also hold the quality of non-repudiation, making them similar to signatures in the real world. Further, it is these digital signatures which ensure that the blockchain is valid and the data is verified and correct. Next, if we see from a broad perspective, hashing, public-private key pairs and digital signatures together constitute the foundation of blockchain technology. These cryptographic features make it possible for blocks to get securely linked by other blocks and also ensure the reliability and immutability of the data stored on the blockchain. There are a huge number of applications of the blockchain technology, and it is cryptography which makes them all possible. And respectively, one of the major real-world applications is cryptocurrency. But you may ask, how? Let me explain. Cryptocurrencies are one of the major applications of blockchain, and they use public-private key pairs to maintain the addresses of users on the blockchain. For cryptography in blockchain, the public key is used as the address of the person. Take a note that public key is visible globally, that is, it is visible to any participant of the participant, where the private key is the secret key value and is used to access that address data and authorize any of the actions for the address, which is generally regarded as transactions in the cryptocurrency language. Next, digital signatures are widely used for cryptocurrencies as well. They are used to approve the transactions by signing them securely and are also used for multi-signature contracts and digital wallets on the blockchain. This further helps to improve any action from these multi-signature contracts and digital wallets. But do account for the fact that digital signatures from multiple, that is, different private keys are required before executing any action on the network. Lastly, as a conclusion, I'd like to say that cryptography in blockchain is the core of this technology, making it immutable and reliable. And if you are someone who wants to build a mainstream career in this field, I'd recommend you to have a strong understanding of cryptography and its working. With that, I hope this video was helpful to you and served value. If you love my content, be sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do as it keeps me motivated and helps me create more content like this for you.